All righty. Top of the morning. Welcome to boot camp. Um, hopefully y'all can see my head. Let me move it down a little bit. Welcome to boot camp. I am Joe. Welcome. We are going to be knocking out a cardio boot camp this morning. So we're hitting five to six sets of Tabata. I'm super excited about it. Definitely have your water ready, have your towel ready. Let's get rocking with the warm up and we will walk and talk. I'll let you know what's going on. First, let's just hit some jumping jacks just to get the blood flowing. I know it's early morning. <sighs> just getting the blood going. So like I said, Tabata, what Tabata is, if you're not familiar with it, it is 20 seconds on of work, 10 seconds off. So it is a lot going on very quickly. So the good news is the work is not a lot, but the bad news is you're not breaking for that much. So we'll roll through a bunch of different Tabata exercises. Let's keep rolling for three, two, one, relax. Go ahead and take a wide stance with the feet. And we're gonna do lateral lunges, pulsing back and forth, just getting deep in there, warming up the hips. So yeah, we'll be knocking through five to six rounds of Tabata, depending on time. We'll get a little bit of break in between each, but today we're mainly gonna focus on cardio exercises. So we're gonna be getting the heart rate up. We'll be doing some plyometric movements, some hopping around. Obviously there'll be modifications if you need to do a higher or lower modification, that's fine. Just keep pulsing back and forth, getting a little bit deeper. Yeah, so I'm excited, just follow along, have your water ready. And as always, if you need to catch a break in the middle, if that's how you feel like you need it, that's fine. You feel like on round six out of 10, you're like, I need to cut this one out, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and relax, stand up. But do some hugs, just shaking out the arms. So for the first round of Tabata, exercise number A is simple. We're doing jumping jacks. So we'll do jumping jacks for number one or for A, for letter B on the even numbers. We're gonna be doing lunge, jump, hops. So right here, lunge, jump back and forth. I'll tell you when we get there. Keep shaking it out, keep shaking those legs now. Let's do some sweeps. So that'll be the first one. I'll tell you all each round. We're only doing two exercises per, so we'll do an A and a B for each round. So you'll get familiar with that. You'll end up doing five rounds of each, but it's gonna fly by, trust me. The great news is you're in control of the intensity. So if you feel like you can hold that pace, whatever you're doing, that is in your hands. So just make the most of it. We'll finish out the workout with some, some cardio, or not some cardio, excuse me, some core flow, as well as a nice stretch. Go ahead, hit this last one. Let's go ahead, get a wide stance, and we're gonna rotate and reach. So hand, rotate, reach. We're working on warming up those back muscles if you're tight, hips. Notice my back foot's coming off the ground. Shake it out, go ahead and grab some water. We're gonna get started in just a second. Like I said, round one is gonna be jumping jacks with that lunge jump with the twist. So again, jumping jacks, modify those if you need to do a step out with the lunge jump and twist, hands together, you're twisting. So you're hopping, twisting in the middle, hop, twist, hop, twist, hop, twist. Keep that back knee off the ground. Let's get started with round one in three, two, one. Let's do it. We're on jumping jacks. Try to stay on those toes if you can. I know it's only jumping jacks, but these are going to add up quick. 
for five rounds. Three, two, one, relax. Good, relax, relax. Next, we have that lunge jump and twist. The more you jump, the more plyometric, the more difficult it is. Three, two, one, we're on, hands together. Lunge, jump. Get deep in the lunge. Rotate good with the core. Three, two, one, there we go. Two down, eight to go. Back to the jumping jacks. We go A, B, A, B. Three, two, one, we're off. Good. Breathe. Find your pace and stick with it. Come on. And three, two, one. There we go. Good job, y'all. Shake it out. Almost halfway done. We're at the lunge, jump, and twist for our second time through. Let's do it. Good rotation. Good deep lunge hop. So if you need to, step back and twist. If not, keep that plyometric going. Three, two, one. There we go. Third time through, jumping jacks. Woo! Heart rate is climbing. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Come on. And five, four, three, two, one. Good. Relax. Woo. One stone twist for a third out of five. We're cruising along. Three, two, one, chop, chop, let's do it. I'm gonna do these reverse step backs. Remember, if you're feeling it, hit that plyometric hop. If not, get a good lunge back with a good twist. Rotation is super important in everyday living. Get going for three, two, one. Chop, chop, nice. Rotation is something we do all day, every day. We gotta train it too. Jumping jacks. Woo, we're back. And five, four, three, two, one. Good. I believe this is round four of the one jump and twist. So we've got one more after this and we're gonna catch a little break. Let's do it. Make the twist more difficult by pressing your hands together. And change the angle you're going to. You don't have to go right across. You can go down or up. Three, two, woo. Last set of jumping jacks, y'all. Catch that breath. Woo. Last one, and we are off. Come on. And three, two, one, nice. Last set, we're gonna catch a break. Woo! Three, two, lunge, twist. Change the angle for me. Let's go low with it. Go low with the twist. So you're sending those hands to that hip. Still squeezing them. Good posture. Engaging the core. Some good rotation. And five, four, Three, two, that's what's up. Good work. Round one is done. Catch some water. Breathe. Now you've had a good taste of a full round of the Tabata. You can see how it feels going through round six, seven, eight. It's a lot. If you need to modify it, modify it. Get some water 
and let's just actively recover walking around. I'll tell y'all what is next on the menu. So nothing revolutionary for round two. We've got burpees and side lunges. Burpees, it's a classic. Down to the floor. Now to advance it, you do a full regular push-up back and hop up. If you don't do the push-up, that's fine. You can go down, down, or do a push-up from the knee. Push up from the knee, step, step to the toes, any variation of pushing, all that. Exercise number two is a side lunge. We're gonna get started in just a second. Burpee, side lunge. Let's go quick, quick. We got burpees in three, two, one. Let's do it. We're burping. Woo! Come on. Three, two, one. A little game you can play with yourself. Count your burpees. See how many you get round one and try to match it each round to keep that intensity up. Side lunge, let's do it. Now with these side lunges, we're alternating. So I want y'all to make sure you even out. It's a quick step in the middle. If you can even pulse back and forth to advance it, pulsing back and forth, not like the warm up. We're getting deep into that squat or that side lunge. Good knee bend, good stretch on that inner leg. We got burpees round two. This round, we are cranking it up if you can't tell. Woo! Good job on those push-ups on the burpees. If you're doing them, remember, we don't want to flail the elbows out. Keep them in, down, up, elbows. Save the shoulders, save the elbows. Side lunges. We're getting a deep lunge, feeling the burn. You can pulse like I am, or you can step, step, step. Three, two. There we go. We're headed to round three of burpees. If that first round didn't get you, this one should be getting you. You can always crank up the intensity by jumping higher on those burpees. Let's go round three. Three, two, one. Good, relax, Woo. catch that breath. Side lunges, this should be a little bit of your break. We're off, let's do it. Get deeper in that lunge. Three, two, Good. Burpees. We're off. And five, four, three, two, Ooh, catch your breath, side lunge, and then we are on to our last set of burpees. So side lunges, burpee, side lunge. Let's do it. Ooh, I'm tired too, yo. Three, two, Good. One more of each. We're going to catch a break. Give me a nice deep breath. Let's go in three, two, boom. Let's do it. And 
And three, two, one. Relax. Woo! Burpees, that should be the toughest one of the day. That's not easy. We got side lunges and we're gonna catch a break, y'all. Three, two, one, let's do it. Breathe. Three, two, good. Relax. Get some water. Try to recover. Whew, that is tough. Those burpees were not easy. Next, we've got a little bit slower of an exercise. One of two ways you can do it, single leg RDL. So you're just hip hinging, feeling the stretch or stagger it up. Alternating, of course, try to even out if you can. So A, you are hip hinging, single legged or your staggered stance hip hinging. Exercise number B, I got to throw some cardio in there because we're doing cardio Tabata today. We're running in place. So from here, to a sprint, you control the intensity. So if you're pumping those arms big, getting those knees up, that's what we want to see. Anything as close as you can to doing that. Running in place to sprinting in place. We're starting single leg RDL, let's do it. Remember, you're switching. So when that front leg is out, you're leaning over and hip hinging, getting the stretch in your hamstrings, feeling the burn. There you go, relax. We have running in place, so we're trying to keep that heart rate up while we're doing some posterior work on the backside. Three, two, one, sprint in place. Chop the arms, big knees. Come on. On the toes. And five, four, three, two, one, good. Relax, should be tough. Back to the single leg RDL. Remember front leg is where you're feeling the stretch. Let's do it. So I'm doing the staggered stance here, but I'm still leaning forward over that foot to feel it on those hamstrings and calves. You gotta make the tension happen. Since we got no weights here, we're good for three, two, one. Round two of sprints, running in place are coming up. Woo, shake it out. And three, two, one, let's do it. Pump the arms, get the knees up on the toes. Woo, come on. And in five, four, three, two, relax. It's that breath. Let's do the single leg RDL. Come on, leaning over that foot, hip hinging. This is the slower of the exercises, so catch your breath here. Three, two, boom. If that spring in place was too tough, just slow it down a little bit. Control the tempo. This is your workout. Three, two, one. Round three of them, let's do it. You're controlling the tempo. Woo, bring those knees up for five, four, three, two, relax. Back to the single-legged. Quite the tempo change from those sprints. So we're doing some active recovery here. And if you're really, if you've been pushing yourself on the sprints, you'll notice some of the lactic acid building up in your legs. 
So you're probably getting a little bit tight. Make sure you're slowing this one down. Relax, relax. Sprints, come on. For three, two, let's do it. Come on. And five, four, three, two, good. Finish out this last set of the RDLs and one more set of sprints. We're gonna catch ourselves a nice break. Last one, make it count. Good hip hinge, keep your core tight. Three, two, there we go. Relax, last set and we're catching a break, I promise. Last set of running in place. Woo, make it count. Three, two, let's do it. Pump those arms. You're gonna catch a break, so push it. Five, four, three, two, relax. Woo, get some breath. Come on up to round four of Tabata. Get some water. We got a minute break. Drink some water. Hands on the hips to breathe. Next, we have Pogo Top Shelf Hops. So this one's gonna look easy. It's not as easy as it looks. You're gonna have those hands up in the air and we're popping. So you're right here, hands all the way up, on your toes, bouncing off the ground. Exercise number two, or B, is gonna be your choice of cardio. Pick it up. So after those top shelf hops, you can do jumping jacks. You can do side lunges. You can do lunge jumps. You can do sprints. You can do side shuffles like this. I'm going to do side shuffles. Pick your poison. This is your opportunity to decide your fate. So pogo top shelf hops. And then it's up to you. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Hands up. So you're on the toes trying to get off the ground, straight legged. You're bouncing, we're gonna strengthen our calf muscles here. We're strengthening the ankle joints, the knee joints, the hips, hands above the head. Three, two, one, relax. Now this is your choice to determine what you wanna do. I'm doing side shuffles, I'll probably change up in between. Three, two, one. If you want, you can do quick feet like that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm going shuffling back and forth. Stay low with it if you're doing them. If you're doing burpees, good for you. <laughs> that won't be me. Arms out. Three, two, relax. Pogo top shelf off again. Remember, knees are locked out. Or you're being athletic with it. You're hopping right on the tip of those toes. Let's do it. Arms straight up. Hands are reaching toward the roof. You're popping on the toes. And three, two, one, good. Your choice of cardio, I'm doing high knees right here. Woo! I'm on my toes, my calves are gonna be burning tomorrow. Five, four, three, two, relax. Third round of those pogo hops, hands to the roof. Catch your breath though. 
three, two, we're on. Breathe. You're just bouncing on those toes. Five, four, three, two, nice. Mystery cardio. Come on, let's finish this round strong. Woo. I'm going back to my shuffles. Three, two, good, relax. Woo. I'm tired too, y'all. Let's finish it strong. Three, two, back to the pogos. Arms straight up, try to keep your heels off the ground. Heels off the ground, you're bouncing on those toes. Whew. Three, two, one, here we go. Mystery cardio. I'm gonna jog in place this time. You can do jumping jacks, jog in place. You can do burpees. You can do ski jumps. I'm letting you guys choose your fate. Whew. Three, two, relax. Last set of pogo jumps. Last set. And we're off. Oh, go. Keeping those heels off the ground. Breathe. Three, two, relax. Your choice, I'm doing jumping jacks. Control your breathing, guys. I know it's a lot of cardio, it's good for us. There we go. Catch your breath. Oh man, my heart rate is up. All right, we got one more round of Tabata. The good news, we are going to the floor. We are gonna finish out the rest of this class with a lot of core, some stretching, some flowing. So that was the high intensity. We're gonna bring it down from here. Exercise number one, we're on the stomach. We're doing Superman rows. We're up, row, out, down. Exercise number two, we simply roll over, hands under the hips and we're doing flutter kicks. So that's A and B. After that, we're going right into the core flow. So go ahead and pop on the ground, get ready to do some Superman rows. Excellent work on all that cardio. I know that was a lot, my heart rate's up too. Let's go three, two, one. We're back for round five, Superman rows. Try to get those quads off the ground. Squeeze your glutes, engage your lats. Three, two, relax. Couldn't skip out on core today. Core and cardio. Let's do it. Come on. Three, two, there we go. One of five. Come on, roll back over.
Back to the Supermans. And relax. We're going second time through on the flutters. Make sure you're engaging your lower abs. Engaging those lower abs. You want them to be tight. You don't want to be not breathing. Breathe. Three, two, good. We're around three of the Supermans. We're just rolling back and forth. And three, two, one. Let's do it. Three, two. Let's do it. <clears throat> Back to the flutters for a third time. Woo. Four, three, two. There we go. Back to the Supermans, rolling on over. Let's do it. And three. Two, good. Let's finish strong. Woo. Three, two, flutters. Breathe. Three, two, Relax. Last set of Supermans and last set of flutters. And then we're gonna get into our, the rest of our core flow. Breathe. When you're up here in the Superman, try to squeeze at the top for a second. Nice. We're going to finish out on these flutters. Finish out with the flutter kicks. And three, two, one. Here we go. Relax, drink some water. Staying on the floor here. Breathe real quick. Go on and get in the tabletop position. And we're gonna go right into some bird dogs. Go ahead, bird dog. That's extending the arm and the leg. Hold it out there for a second or two. Now I want you to focus on keeping your back completely flat, engaging those obliques. So keeping the back flat, you're not rotating at all. You'll feel it much more in that core when you don't rotate like that. Three, two, one, nice. Go ahead and pop on your side. We're gonna go into a side plank, catch your breath. We're gonna do side plank in three, two, one, and we're off. 
Now, easy way to modify, bend that knee to advance it, simply out, out here at the ankles. Breathe, breathe, nice. Let's go, three, two, one, relax. Do to one side, gotta do to the other. Three, two, hang on. Three, two, one, and we're up on the other side of a side plank. Trying to get comfortable being uncomfortable, engaging the core, your side, your glutes, your hips, all that good stuff. We got 10 more seconds, hang on with me. We go for five, four, three, two, relax. Nice, go ahead and roll over on the back. We're gonna catch our breath for a second. We got a combo move here. We're gonna do a glute bridge to the sit up. So frogger glute bridge, feet together. Glute bridge, sit up. We're gonna go in three, two, one, let's do it. Glute bridge, sit up, moving at your own pace here. So we're doing a combo move, working on the posterior and the anterior side. So we're doing the front and the back, engaging our glutes. By engaging our glutes, it's gonna help us save our lower back and help us engage our core or our front of our core, I should say. Keep rocking, come on. Three, two, one, nice. Staying on your back here. Go ahead and toss those hands under your hips. We're gonna go feet out in six inches. We're gonna go three, two, one. Go ahead, feet all the way out. Go straight up in the air. Feet straight up in the air. Now reach for the sky. We're doing pulses up here. Pulse. Back down to six inches, hold it. Go ahead, relax, relax, stay in this position. And back up, all the way up in the air, doing the reverse sit up. And three, two, good. Go ahead and roll over on your stomach. Let's hit a nice cobra. Good stretch. From here we go into the down dog. Pedal it out. Walk those hands all the way into the feet. Still hanging. Go ahead and stand it up tall, very slowly. And we're gonna come right back down, walk it out. We're going into the plank position to finish our regular plank. Go ahead into the plank position. We're in it. Come on. We're almost finished with core. Breathe. You can rock those hips back and forth to engage more obliques. Come on. Breathe. We're finished with core after this. Let's go five, four, three, two, nice. Good job. Woo. Excellent work. Go ahead, pop up on your butt in a sec. 
get in that butterfly position. We're just gonna stretch it out. I promise I'm not throwing any more core at you. Great way to finish out that cardio though, huh? Breathe, get in the butterfly, elbows out. Go ahead, send your hands behind you, feet out in front, and we're gonna get into this hip rotation. So right here, you're just sending your hips back and forth. Go ahead and relax. Slowly stand it on up. Touch the toes. Go ahead and relax. And that is going to do it. Tuesday morning boot camp.